Hey guys, I'm Eric with T-Shirt Tycoon here in Garland, Texas. We started this company 10 years ago, and really we started on the backbones of an OEM label manufacturer called uh, Marking Systems. At the time, it was one of the bigger screen printers in the country as far as it came to uh, labels. And we were able to take some of the stuff that we did in Marking Systems and actually translate it over to textiles and screen printing for ourselves. Uh, what that leads to, and you'll see it here in a little bit when we walk through the shop, is our direct machine interface. From the get-go, GSG was in our building helping us design and develop everything we were going to come up, come up with. Um, right there from our first piece of equipment that we bought in, uh, in May of 2011 to the new dryer Sprint 3000 that we bought last month. As far as our relationship goes with GSG, the fact that this video is being made will tell you how important GSG is to T-Tycoon. There's no way anyone else could have got me on a video camera to do any of this stuff. GSG is all, you know, about relationship and service. It's kind of like buying a car. You know, you can buy that new Yukon at 50 different dealerships, but the after the sales service is what should make your decision. And that's what you get with GSG. You get the best service with the best people and you always feel like top notch. So our most recent piece of equipment was another Sprint 3000 from MNR. Um, we're a tire MNR shop. Um, with all our screen, screen printing equipment. Um, and you know, the way things are going right now, we'll be buying another one very soon. Uh, we've gone from one press to two press to four presses to now we're running 11 autos um, and looking to buy more and expand even more over the next couple of years. Right now we're growing at a rate of about 35 to 40% a year, year over year. Um, and you know, we're gonna keep doing that with GSG. Here is the beginning and the end of our screen department. After the screens come out of production, all the reclaim starts over here at the beginning of the Ecotex, goes through the chambers, has the post rinse wash, the screens come out nice, beautiful, ready to go back to re-imaging. So this has been one of the greatest purchases we've made, uh, one of the best things I think MNR ever came out with. Uh, it's a workhorse, it lasts, it saves so much energy, time, and money on chemicals, it's crazy. But like I said, Screens end and start here with the Ecotech. So now what we have is our actual screen room. So what we've done is we've built a 3,000 square foot, three station room. Each room is uh, climate controlled, different temperature, different humidity, depending on what that room is doing. The room we're in right now is our coating room. So here is all just, you know, clean mesh screens out of the Ecotech, dry, ready to go. And then we bring them over to the Kiwo machines and this is where we'll do our coating. So we have two coders going, um, different, we'll have different recipes for what kind of screens we're working with or what we're doing out in production, water-based plastisol, whatever. So usually these things are going simultaneously. We rack everything and then we go into the Dolphit dryer. And what we did is we did the pass-through dryer. So they'll load all the carts uh, into the dryer on this side and then they have doors on the opposite side in the dark room. This is the dark room. The other side of the doll fit, everything comes out. These screens are all coated, stored, and ready to go into screen making on the other side and go through the digital imaging process, uh, exposure, and, uh, and final rinse before production. Uh, so of course we have the tinted lights, but again, we have a different temperature, different humidity in this room. We're just the type of people that believe good screen printing comes in good screens, so we take it as serious as we can. Um, every screen is, uh, is tested uh, for Newton's uh, intentions. Uh, before it ever makes it to the next room. And then here's the digital screen department. So what we've gone with on the Tycoon side is we've gone with a couple of the XTSs. Um, we have them set up to two different uh, formats, two different ways, so we can do even jumbo screens up to 30 by 40 inch screens. After exposure, we take them to the MNR Eco Rinse, and this is where we knock out the wax, do our final inspection, final looky-loo, and then they hit this floor, and once they hit this floor, you'll see our CDPDS for production. Everything's organized. It then gets carded and assigned to a press in production. So what we've done after the screen department, screens start coming this way, goods start coming from the warehouse, and then we have our ink department here. 75% of our jobs, we mix ink for the job. We don't keep a lot of uh, stocked inks on the floor. Uh, we prefer to mix for everything. We do a lot of water-based uh, printing and depending on the garment, depending on the art, depending on so many variables, depends on how we mix that ink. We may have 560 formulas for 186 red 
just depending on what t-shirt it was going on or what the other color is going with it just so we can always get really close on that color. You'll see we try to keep everything assigned. We assign bucket numbers, not PMS colors. So like I said, we may have a ton of formulas for like 186 red, but we know on black water base t-shirts, it's gonna be bucket number 156. And on white t-shirts, it's gonna be bucket 182. And everything is kept up with organized uh, so we can always drill back down to the same formula. We also have a pre-runner um, in our ink department. Anytime we're doing something uh, special, new, or anything like that, we test it here in our ink department well before it ever gets into production. This is the worst place and the most production time killer is getting ink colors right on a press that's in production. So we drill down to it here with the pre-runner. That way we're using the same kind of head, squeegees, everything that we're running in production. And then we get into production. So this is the 40,000 square foot climate control facility. Just here in this room right here, we have 50 tons of air conditioning pumping into here to keep our temperature down. Like I said, we do a lot of specialty printing, a lot of water-based printing, and it makes our guys' lives so much easier to drop that temperature down. You know, a hot summer day when it's 110 degrees outside, you know, it gets to about 80, 82 degrees in this room. A day like today where it's 70 degrees outside, it's 65 to 70 in this room right now. So that 50 tons of air makes a huge difference. It also helps us filter our air a lot better um, and keep a lot of lint, trash, and stuff out of the air that gets into screens and everything else. You're also gonna notice on a lot of our presses, these light stacks, you'll see green lights, yellow lights, blue lights, red lights. That's all part of our direct machine interface. So every one of these presses is tied into our accounting software up front and how we run our business. Uh, it's basically counting every time that machine moves. There's also a, uh, a Surface tablet computer hooked up in front of the control boards that lets them load their job. That job has their targets for setups, teardowns, run speeds, all that stuff. So we're tracking everything. Like I said, everything you're gonna see in our shop is gonna be blue on this floor. Well, we're an m and company, try and true, and that's all we're ever gonna have. Um, so you'll always see a sea of blue when you walk into our shop. If we come right over here, this is part of the direct machine interface I was talking about. So right now we're looking at a trend line up here, and this is over the last you know six, seven, eight months right now, but these are our job scores. You'll see March, April, we have a huge dip. Well, that's when we were moving into this building. So we didn't have DMI on at that time because we were moving and getting everything set back up. Then you see the incline where it stretched back up. We usually run at about 120, 130%. Now we're looking at each press right now on the floor. Everything in green, that means that press is running. The 416, the 579, those numbers, those are our throughput right now live on press. The red is telling me something's on hold. I can get an alert, tell me what we're doing. But right now, press six is running at 200 pieces an hour and his target's at 350 on his throughput. He's just getting started on a job. You'll see that in the next five, 10 minutes jump way up and he'll catch back up to where he's supposed to be. And then we look at all the data on a weekly basis. Now it's switching over to this week and you'll see, you know, all that green's all good. Everyone's over or uh, at or over their targets. Um, you know, the red ones, they're a little below. So normally when we see this data, we'll go look at those jobs, see what it is. Something's quoted wrong, it's more difficult than we thought, uh, but we use all this data to keep on making ourselves better and, uh, and, and help our productivity. And the best part about printing t-shirts is when they're all done and ready to go out the door. So after the end of the dryers, everything comes out, makes its way into finishing, could be folding, hang tagging, bagging, whatever it is. Sometimes it's just printers dozens. Everything gets boxed, makes it through shipping, and then that's my favorite door. That's the door all the product leaves out of. That's when we get the invoice, and that's where we get to pay for all this great equipment we buy from GSG.